Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to show you how to unroot your Galaxy S6 and restore the stock firmware. Now there are several reasons that you might want to restore the stock firmware on your Galaxy S6. Maybe you're sending the phone back for warranty purposes or perhaps you're getting it ready to accept an over the air update. But whatever your reason, there's no better way to restore the stock firmware on a Samsung device than using Odin, which is a firmware flashing tool for Windows. And as far as the phone goes, you'll need to put it into download mode so that Odin can access your system partition. To do that, start by powering your Galaxy S6 completely off. From here, press and hold the volume down, home, and power buttons simultaneously. At this point, you'll see a warning message, but like it says, just press the volume up button to confirm your choice. Once you've made it to this screen, go ahead and connect your phone to your PC with a USB data cable. From here, the rest of the work will be done with a Windows computer, so let's head over there. Okay, so over on the PC, there's a few files that you'll need to download, but I have all of these linked out at the full tutorial, so head over to Gadget Hacks to grab everything you'll need. First up, you'll have to install the Samsung USB drivers. For this one, basically all you need to do is run the file, then follow the prompts for installation. Next up is Odin. This one is a zip file, and all you have to do here is extract the contents to a folder that you can access easily. Finally, you'll need to download the stock firmware for your particular variant of the Galaxy S6. To do that, open a browser window and head to sammobile.com slash firmwares. From here, the search box at the top of the page will let you easily find the stock firmware for your particular model number. If you're unsure about the exact model number, check your user manual or head to the About Device menu in Settings. The firmware file will take a while to download, something like 30 minutes probably. But when it's done, just extract the contents of the zip into a folder that you can get to easily. At this point, with your phone in download mode and connected to your PC, you're ready to install the factory firmware. Go ahead and right click the Odin EXE file, then select Run as Administrator. From here, leave everything set up exactly as it is. Then click this AP button on the right side of the window. At this point, a file browser window will pop up, so use this to select the firmware that you extracted from that zip. Then keep an eye out on this message window and wait until it says Leave CS. Next, just hit Start and Odin will begin installing the stock firmware on your device. The process will take a good 10 minutes or so depending on your computer, but when it's done the box at the top left corner of Odin should say pass and your phone should automatically reboot. If it doesn't, just reboot your phone manually by holding the volume down and power buttons, then disconnect the USB cable and you should be good to go. It'll take a lot longer than usual to finish booting, sometimes as long as 10 minutes, but that's nothing to be concerned about. If you experience any minor glitches after installing the factory firmware, just boot your phone into recovery mode and perform a factory reset. But beyond that, your phone should now be 100% stock from a software standpoint. Unless of course you trip Knox at some point, which is impossible to reset. And I know this was a lot to absorb from one video, so if you'd like to follow along at your own pace, be sure to check out my full tutorial on Gadget Hacks. As always though, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.